father. They stand to win an award of damages if they establish their cases on a balance of probability. In all civil claims, you would be aware of this, the rule in the courts, not only in this country, but throughout the common law world, the rule is that if you have a claim in civil law, you will prove your case on a balance of probability. And so it is uh, a duty falling on citizens and their lawyers. Where they detect elements of corruption which has caused them damage, then they want to resolve those, uh, those uh, um, injuries that they have suffered through civil action and they need to have evidence so that the matter can be proved on a balance of probability. But the next one, and this I think is of the greatest interest to you perhaps, is the fact that short of the criminal platform for dealing with corruption, taking people to jail and so on, and short of the civil case where you file a suit, you seek damages against someone whose conduct would have been corrupt, there is this third avenue. Such claimants alternatively could go by the terms of Article 159.2c of the Constitution, which declares as a principle to guide the judiciary in the course of regular dispute resolution. Thus, quote, alternative dispute resolution, including reconciliation, mediation, arbitration, and traditional dispute resolution mechanisms. So this is another opening uh, where an individual senses that corruption has taken place, the matter may be has fallen short of the criminal standards which requires proof beyond reasonable doubt, so someone has not been prosecuted and they have not taken a civil uh, course seeking damages they can seek a resolution of the dispute arising from that sensed corrupt incident through alternative dispute resolution of course to do that the matter would have been lodged in the first place as a civil matter before the court. Then the court will create an opportunity for the parties to proceed and reach this kind of alternative dispute resolution by their own devices. And once they do so, they will return before the judge or the magistrate and now get orders adopting the solution which has come through uh, the alternative mode of resolution. So as you can see, this runs parallel to the judicial method, the regular judicial method of hearing evidence and determining on the basis of the balance of probability. The two run together in the sense that your alternative dispute resolution needs to be adopted as part of the law. And there's only one agency that has got the of the law and that is the judiciary so your matter which was lodged before the judge will now go back to the judge the judge will not waste time looking for evidence but will adopt the position that you have arrived at through alternative dispute resolution last 